U.S. President Donald Trump has arrived in Japan for a state visit. Trump is set to spend four days in the country to cement ties. He'll meet with Japan's prime minister and business leaders and attend a dinner at the Imperial Palace where he'll be the first state guest of Japan's new emperor. His visit comes against the backdrop of increasing tensions with China and North Korea. For more, let's talk to correspondent Michael Penn in Tokyo. Michael, Donald Trump just gave his first speech in Japan addressing business leaders. What was his main message to them? Well, uh, of course, uh, he's emphasizing the, the toughness on trade issues, which has uh, been something that uh, for him, uh, really going back to the 1980s, he, he first got this idea in his mind that uh, Japan was using unfair trade practices against uh, the United States. And, and this is something that uh, through the decades has never really uh, diverged in his own thinking. So, uh, you know, he feels that during his presidency, he wants to be the person who solves this uh, issue as he sees it uh, and to make a fairer trade relationship between the United States and Japan. Trump is scheduled to attend the G20 summit in Osaka in only six weeks. Why this visit now? Well, this visit uh, now is is basically a social and symbolic visit. It's not really one where uh, a great deal of substance is expected to be decided. Uh, the main issue in involved here is the uh, is the enthronement of the new emperor. Uh, they, he needs to receive a state visitor. And uh, symbolically speaking, to have the U.S. president be the one uh, to come first is something the Japanese want. And uh, Prime Minister Abe is using this to very much flattered the ego of Trump, which has been his strategy basically since uh, Trump was elected to keep telling him he's a great leader, he's important, that uh, Japan needs him. And this is the way that uh, the, the Abe administration seeks to achieve its own policy objectives. Yeah, Abe has been courting Trump for quite some time. Has he gotten anything out of it for his country? Well, it's mainly an issue of damage control. Uh, you know, Trump uh, and this trade issue is a, is a primary example of this. Trump basically wants to make demands of, of Japan that, that the Japanese don't want to give. And so uh, Abe is trying as hard as he can to stay on Trump's good side so that Trump's demands don't become too onerous and to try to blunt their force. So in a sense, uh, it's Japan feeding uh, Trump's ego in order to uh, not feel the force of Trump's demands on the Japanese nation. Michael Penn in Tokyo, thank you very much. Thank you.